Welcome one more week to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to see how we can localize not only text, but also assets. This can be useful if we want to customize a logo or, for example, materials for a certain region. Roll intro. Okay, so as we have mentioned before, we can not only localize text, but other types of assets. For example, textures. In this game, we have a splash screen texture with the small robot in orange. If we go ahead and click on play, you can see that the texture pops up right at the beginning. So let's take a look at how can we change this texture and localize it for our Spanish uh, players. We can go ahead and go to Asset lo uh, Localization and go ahead and create Localized Asset. There we can go ahead and create a Spanish version of the texture. If we don't see the folder, we can go ahead and look in the options. In that folder, we are going to have uh, the same um, tree of uh, folders that we have on the main game. And we can go ahead and go to the texture. And you can see that right now it is exactly the same. If by any chance you cannot see the localization folder, the lion folder, you can go ahead and in the content settings, you can see that in the folder options, the view options, in the content uh, section, you can go ahead and show localized content. If it is off, it will not show the, the Lion folder, the localization folder, so you need to turn it on to see it and be able to access the contents so you can modify stuff. Okay, so we have a new texture, but it is the same. Let's double click on it, close the old one, and now we can go ahead and modify it. How are we going to do that? We can check in the texture editor details where the texture is coming from. If it, if it already comes from a file on our drive, we can go ahead and modify it. But if not, we can go ahead and export it. That will be the easiest way and the cleanest way. We are going to select the export menu in the asset actions uh, menu. We can look for the project folder for ease of access. Once we have our desired folder, we can click on save and we will be able to modify it using an external program. So let's go ahead and switch to GIMP. We can drag and drop our texture. In GIMP, we are going to apply a color correction so that the robot uh, looks more Spanish. Remember that the colors of the Spanish flag are yellow and red. So we can go ahead and customize the hue and saturation to get a more Spanish uh, robot. We can go ahead and click OK. Then we can export that new image and save it, overwrite the old image so that we can reload it in engine depending on the localization options. So we go ahead and export it. You can keep default settings or whatever settings you prefer. And then we will be able to use this new texture in Unreal Engine. So let's switch back. Let's go ahead and double click on the localization texture. With that, we can go ahead and go to the source file. If it is not already um, updated, we can select it there. I'm going to cancel because once we already have the proper path, we can just click on reimport and that's that. It will be updated. If it is not updated or a new window pops up, it's because it doesn't know where the original texture was. It changed or it is not there anymore. If we go ahead and click play, 
we are going to see that the new texture does not pop up, but if we execute the game in a standalone mode, you are going to see that new texture pop up as expected. Okay, so with that, we have our texture localized for Spanish, but we also want to localize the 3D asset and the materials especially, because you can see that right now there is a disparity between the little robot and the, and the splash screen. So we just go ahead and click, right click on whatever we want to localize, a material, a texture, we can go ahead and localize it to Spanish. It's going to pop up in that localization folder, that Lion folder. And you can go ahead and modify the materials there. For example, here I'm going to modify the base color material for the robot. And I'm going to change it from orange to a more reddish color that resembles better the splash screen color. So I'm just changing that. It is not going to be like the purest red, but you get the point and I think it is uh, quite okay. I'm going to go ahead and just input uh, one in the red color and zero in the blue so that it is as red as it can be. And then let's go ahead and just fiddle a little bit. Let's see if we find a better color, but I don't think so. So let's leave it red. Let's go ahead and save the material. Right now we need to modify the texture of the visor so it is not uh, green. Let's go ahead and export it again to the same folder so that it is easy to switch to GIMP and modify it. Back in GIMP, we have the texture of the visor. Let's go ahead and apply the same color correction so that it is uh, closer to yellow. And with that, we can go ahead and again file export as and export the texture and overwrite the old texture. We can go ahead and replace it, keep default settings, export it, and let's switch back to Unreal. Let's go ahead and re-import the texture you are going to see that it doesn't know where it is, so let's tell the engine where it is. We can go ahead and click on it. We can see that the new texture is loaded properly, but there is one more thing to do. Create a new material instance, localized instance, with, with the visor, because that visor has um, a color tint, so we need to switch it in the instance, so it is more yellow and no, not as uh, cyan anymore. So let's go ahead and switch to yellow on both. We are going to see that the visor is uh, looking better. And whenever we are done, we can go ahead and click play and see how the robot looks with the localized materials and textures. You can see that the robot is way more red and the visor it's yellow, so we have what we want. But it is important to mention that there is another gotcha. If we go ahead and launch the game, we are going to see that the preview language is Spanish, so the robot looks Spanish. But if we want to change directly the language in-game with, for example, a console command, culture equals en, so English. Let's switch to English. You can see that the orbs message has switched, but our materials, our textures have not switched. This is due to the textures and materials being loaded in memory, and we are going to need to reload them so they are uh, updated and changed according to the localization options. So if we go ahead and go back to the main menu, we are going to see that still it is not updated, but here it is. We can go ahead and click play, and you see that the splash screen is modified, and the materials and textures are also modified. So we have our old Stackobot back, and it has a green visor, and 
orange body. If we go ahead and switch language again to Spanish, you can see that again it will not switch and we need to go ahead and reload everything again. As you can see, when we reload, we can see it in Spanish mode and again in the game we see it updated. So that's it for this video. I hope you have liked it. Please go ahead, like and subscribe and we will see each other in the next videos. Thank you.